Hi all, it's Zip from Elementor. Today we will go over some website basics and have a look to see what sites are made up of. We'll also check out Elementor's Theme Builder, which empowers you to create and manage the parts needed for your own websites. Let's make a start. There are many different types of websites, such as blogs, corporate and educational sites, news sites, and e commerce sites, just to name a few. But they all have something in common. They are a collection of web pages that can be accessed by visiting the home page, which represents the main page of the site itself, just like you see here on this website for an interior design agency. They all contain some basic elements that are needed to make them function properly, such as this navigation bar over here. It's part of the header, which is a recurring site part that is found at the top of every page and allows the user to quickly move across the main website structure. Generally, besides for the nav bar, the header also contains a logo and some contact information. Another important recurring part is the footer, which is found at the bottom of every page. It usually contains a logo and other important info, such as the sitemap, contact information, disclaimers, and links to the terms of service and privacy policy pages. In between the header and footer are pages with content such as this homepage we're on, where visitors get a first impression of this interior design agency. These pages are usually a mix of text and other media, such as images, videos, and audio, and can be designed to match the website's needs. This specific site also has a blog page, where visitors can read articles on interior design and related topics, just like the one you see here. This page includes a list of articles or posts, and clicking on one takes you to it. If relevant, having a blog on your site is a great way to drive traffic to your website and increase your SEO. Technically, the blog page is an archive that can list these posts according to the website's needs. They can be organized by categories and published dates, for example. Also, if you think of it, these posts could be products on an e-commerce site, just like the one you see here. And there are many different types of websites you can build this way. Another important part of a site is the search results page, which is the page that shows the results when searching for something specific on a website. It can show pages, posts, and content, like images and videos, for example. And lastly, sites also have a 404 error page, which is the page that lets you know you somehow got lost on a site because the URL you were searching for is either unavailable or no longer exists. Now, all of these site parts together form a complete website, whether it's a corporate or e-commerce site or for an interior design agency, like I've shown you here. They all consist of site parts and basic elements that are needed to make them function properly. Elementor's theme builder makes achieving this a lot easier. It provides you with a clear and informative overview of all of your site parts, such as headers, footers, posts, or archives, and therefore makes the task of designing and managing a complete website a lot easier. We have a dedicated theme builder tutorial that delves into all of the fun stuff, so make sure to check it out and start building your own stunning sites in a simple and intuitive way. I've linked it in the description below. Well, that's it. Have fun creating websites and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now!